Huh? Hey! <laughs> he wants to be famous! I'm streaming here, okay? So, uh, I, was, I was concerned, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a bird in there and uh, he's uh, singing quite loudly. Uh, which I don't know, may or may not be copyrighted. <laughs> I should be really... Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech and today we're going to have a recap of the last live stream in which I've built this and this is Ender 3 Creality Printer uh, that's been sent to me by Banggood and you can find the link in the description uh, now I went to Hackspace yesterday to build it, it took me three hours to build it and a couple of hours to actually print the test print which I have in here and I'm gonna post a nice, big, nice pictures for you of the print so you could see exactly what I'm, well, what's the quality is like, I'm still painting it. So, this video is just a recap, first of all, uh, thank you to all of you that joined uh, the live stream, there was like 150 people throughout the 6 hour stream, it's the longest stream I ever held it, and uh, my legs could tell. So thank you so much for joining me and entertaining me on the chat, and uh, thanks extra thanks to Jim for um, guiding me and assisting me, uh, I've never built a printer before so hope you enjoyed it. Uh, now I understand if you missed the stream. <laughs> and you don't feel like watching six hours of me just trying to build a print and print something out of it then obviously uh, I've got a recap for you which uh, this is the video uh, which takes a couple of minutes and uh, basically gives you an essential of the build so I hope you're gonna enjoy it and uh, yeah if you fancy yourself a pretty good printer for 150 pounds or about 190 dollars then this is a one good printer. So without further ado, let's uh, move to my local hackspace and start the build. Hello, it looks like it's working, so apologies for the uh, delay. Uh, today we are streaming from uh, hackspace, uh, Jim is keeping me company on the other side of the camera uh, and he will be my troubleshooting master if I run into problems uh, for the duration of his work break and today we're building a 3D printer. Uh, it's a Ender 3 and it arrived today. I'm super excited uh, because I've been waiting for it since December, beginning of December to be precise. Uh, long story short, uh, there was a couple of problems with actually first one being lost in Belgium, but the second has been issued and uh, run into Chinese holidays, which means it's here now, not before. So, I've got some coffee, I've got a printer, a couple of tools, and a hack space for my disposal, which you can see behind me. It's my favorite uh, laser printer, which is out of order again. Uh, and I've got my trusty knife, which uh, we're gonna just carry on. I don't think there is that much actually to build. Half of that stuff looks half with not 1,000 pounds. And I think for most of us, it's going to be the same experience. Start with something affordable that you can learn on and kind of figure out what you actually need. Printer has been sponsored by Banggood, so thank you very much. And they've been on top of the game in terms of uh, providing customer service. So I have no doubt if I was actually paying for stuff as well, uh, I would receive a similar service. So yeah, I'm happy. First item, uh, that's a screen. It's nice to protect it, let's put it on the table. Uh, some rails, there's going to be more of those for sure. Uh, what we have in here, this looks like extruding parts or just with some stops, so you're just passing the filament around. That looks really solid, it does not feel cheap at all. There's a power supply and it actually has a nice socket which is with a switch, great stuff. I need one of these for actually for my power supply. That's a good stuff. That's amazing, yeah. Yeah. I'm impressed. I'm impressed actually. This, this is all you get for 150 quid, honestly. Uh, did I mention it's got a heated bed too? Ugh. So this is the base. Some extra wheels. I'm gonna put this down. Uh, so the power cable. There's a spatula. Nice. There is more metal brackets. A stepper motor. Alice. Uh, that's for thingy. 
And there is even a test uh, filament and lots of zip ties and stuff. Step one, we're gonna need a screw, four washers and two bits that goes. I don't know what that is, but... Uh, it's for cleaning the... Um, extruder? Extruder, yeah. Oh, okay. It's got, it's got a set of... Uh, ten of I think they're acupuncture needles that they're just repurposing. <laughs> We can do both. Yeah. You can you can relax for two hours, like having an acupuncture done. We're building 3D printer. Hopefully, uh, we won't have any problems. And they're gonna go from the bottom, and I can see the holes already. So. Ah. I hope you can see it. If you want me to adjust the camera or something, just do let me know, and I'll do so. Now this has a couple of holes, one's on the inside and one's on the outside and we need to determine where the holes go. The holes go on the inside, according to the manual. So. I don't know if you have a builder printer, if you do, you probably have more experience than me and uh, you can laugh at me. But looking at the instructions and the pictures and the fact that step one to step wherever is listed in English, I feel fa fairly confident that I can accomplish this because I've got a 3D printer uh, pro behind me so if I run into any problems right this one doesn't have holes um, so I might have made the first mistake assuming those are the same parts <laughs> uh, so they did say the front I'm looking at the back right now so okay, it's that's the front yeah I did it okay actually it says a massive sticker on the box saying unscrew the bottom screws because uh, these are for transporting only. I was complaining about the noise of the um, extracting because I didn't unscrew it. And it was shaking the entire desk. I was like, is that supposed to do that? I was like, I'm not impressed with this. I got to keep it on the second table. And then someone just on the comments like a week later said like, oh, you're supposed to, you know, remove the transport screws. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, step two. Uh, we did that, step two. Uh, we're actually mounting a power supply on the step two and the screen. So let's pop the end of the screen and let's bring the power supply forward. And we're going to be mounting this. It's actually nice that it's, everything is like uh, assembled to. So that goes here in the front, like this, just like this. Oh, there is this. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. There is both. Uh, there is a cable, which is a USB micro cable, and there is a micro SD slot. But there is no USB, which is uh, interesting. So we shall try this and check this. It's 230 volts. Okay, we saw this. We're not going to burn it. And the screws are uh, M5. It's just bolted to this. That's fair enough. It covers it up, and uh, yeah. Can look well actually adds to a professional look I would say. I'm planning on actually running this later via network or via octoprint or something and adding some stuff so that's gonna be exciting but yeah like this and it has two holes here okay and it uses uh, screws which are a good question. That's not the one. And for 20. I think it's these ones. Let's see if the thread is matching, but uh, something tells me there are these. I have three of those. And they're just uh, gonna go through it. And let's see if that I can screw that in. Okay, so the power supply is mounted, we can move to step three. How many steps we've got? We have step twelve, so we were like quarter in. Step three is to take one of the caddies with the block stock and two screws and just kind of put it there. And it has screws already with two things, so you kind of just, I think you just slot them through like through the top. Yeah, well that was easy and then you can secure it. Okay, so the step three. Step four, we are one third into, a, into the completing this build. What we need is a, a screw which is M418. 
and that looks like a stepper motor with uh, this round thing. So we're going to mount this. So they just go at the back. I'm just going to twist this uh, slightly so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Two mounting holes. Uh, there's really no way to get this uh, all the way around to be honest. Yeah, let's go to step number five. And the step number five is actually building the top. Looks complicated. So what we need? We're going to need M416. That sounds like a gun, but I can assure you it's safe. It's a couple of screws, uh, two of them, and we're going to need make sure the extruded plastic tips are back and extruding bit. So this is the extruding bit. Uh, let's take a look at what we're doing here because this looks complicated. Uh, we're going to need one of these. And are they the same? No, they're not the same. They're different length and they're different holes. So we're going to need the one that has... How many holes? It's the longer one that has more holes. That's the one we need. <laughs> I'll try to identify the parts in three different steps. And it's filament from... Oh, there's a filament from here. <laughs> Okay, well, let's. It would make. There is a picture in here. I'm going to kind of skip to the picture. So it says, and then step six, we have to put some tension belt. So you have a tension belt with ends to, to kind of connect it together somehow. And we need to bar that goes across, which is. Uh, no, we don't need that yet. It kind of tells us to prepare, prepare it, but not to do anything with it. So let's prepare the timing. So, what we need for step seven, we need this thing, yeah, okay. Uh, extruder, and the extruder is going to be facing down this way. So this is back, back, okay, and from the back we have to screw it in the triangle part, which is here. And we are doing it from this side, from the back side, right? According to instructions, yes, so I'm just going to tap one. So we have this one, uh, so we need to add now the end for the belt tensioning and I think that just goes inside. We can do it by hand actually, it's not bad. And then put it uh, so they would fit inside the rail. Each time I'm saying word belt, I'm thinking about the expanse. So once we've got this, we can actually just uh, link it and there's no much to it, you just have to move it there's a special slot for this, like that, and then you use the tension to make sure the belt stays where it's supposed to. Okay, so we are on step 9 out of 12, which uh, we're gonna rod things. This is even a cover for this. That looks like an inner tube. I, I kid you not. Hey. Where are you going? Nowhere. So we have step nine, we, our step nine. Step 10, we're gonna need a couple of screws and we're building the top. That sounds easy enough. We have a top part, which just go on this. We're gonna need the covers, which goes on the top and M525. I feel like I have too much screws. If it prints as good as it looks, yeah, definitely worth money. So yeah guys, uh, we are finishing it closely. It's going to be connecting it and uh, maybe some test prints wherever it was on the SD card. It's probably going to use entire filament. Yeah. Uh, step 10. Put the caps so you wouldn't hurt yourself. I kind of feel like they've been, you know, stealing these from the back of a van or something. <laughs> and selling off cheaper. Because you have a proper enclosure for everything. There's a, even a fan on the electronics. You have a fan, two fans on the extruder. Uh, it's not dual extrusion, but hey. Technically, that's my breakfast. And it's what? Three o'clock? Three o'clock nearly. Right. So it does actually, on a step 11, tells us to do it. So I'm sign if you mean, you do stuff without thinking and then you work one and then you troubleshoot stuff. It's nice. <laughs> I probably wouldn't lift it by this because 
it's not that heavy, but it's all right. So, and step 12, it means basically connect every single thing. We have this, we have this, we have this. Uh, yeah, it's basically just starts connecting stuff. So, uh, it's, and the cable management, so let's, uh, let's do this. Let's kind of put this to the side, so we can see what we're doing. So this is a screen problem. CN1, CN2 and CN3. Okay, so uh, there's uh, plenty of connectors. There's a power, that's, a, that's a power, that's definitely power. So this is connected nicely for me. So these are the drivers for the stepper motor, so you kind of X, Y, oh, they're all labeled as well. That works, guys. We are leveled on this table. So now how unleveled the table is, but we're fairly straight. I mean, it's a test print, and uh, like I said, first of all, we don't even know if it's working, and this is something we're about to find out. See if it works, guys. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I never built a 3D printer, and uh, we'll see if I can make one using instructions. So this is set to uh, 230, which is uh, appropriate for our economic area. And uh, if I'm gonna... Alright. Okay. Moment of truth. Hey, it displays the logo. So electronics seems to be working. Ooh. Look at that interface, spunky. Right, that went much quicker than the, the live stream. I've enjoyed the live stream and I enjoyed the build. It was absolutely amazing feeling to actually construct it, make it work and then print a successful 3D print. So I'm super happy. Uh, I'm already working on uh, integration with Octoprint, uh, integration with Node-RES, sending notifications, pictures, etc. So all that good things to come are going to be improving this printer beyond the recognition. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to sort of, uh, follow me on social media to get notifications or just simply subscribe to the channel and you will know when the next video is up. As for now, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.